this tutorial, we will introduce how to create webports in GisterCAD. When we remove a block reference here, we can see that a background hatch is destroyed and a big hole appears. If we want to redesign the drawing, we will have to hatch and trim again. But if we use the webport command, the operations will be much easier. We can execute the command by clicking the webport icon in Tag Panel or open drop-down menu in Drawing Panel and selecting Webport command, or just inputting Webport command and press Enter. Let's pan down. Here is a table block reference on the carpet. Let's move it here. Execute Webport command, enable Object Snap, and draw a polyline along the table block boundary. Then change its draw order and create a new table block reference. You can see when I move away the table and wipe out, the background hatch is still complete. Repeat the wipe out command. This time I will select circle option and create a circle wipe out here. Let's turn wipe out frame on with frame option in the wipe out command. Then repeat the webout command again. Select pick polyline or circle option. Select this polygon and choose no to keep the polygon. Explore more in GisterCat Pack Tutorial Part 2.